The Mixed Reality Therapy Project focuses on supporting the development of psychological therapy by integrating advances that have been made in the areas of experiential technology and simulation. In certain areas, we seem to instinctively understand this idea of taking an experiential approach. If, for example, you were training someone to fly an aircraft, you'd recognize that giving them a book on flying wouldn't be sufficient. It would be necessary to be in a real environment or one that looked or functioned like it in order to develop the reflexes necessary so that learning might transfer to real-world scenarios. Something similar is true of psychological therapy. Taking an experiential approach can serve to help develop skill and stir affect. Of course, the core of good therapy is simply being able to be there with the person who needs support. That will never change. But to be able to use experiential technology to scaffold the therapeutic process offers many advantages. The Mixed Reality Therapy Room is a software platform designed to be used by clinicians to support psychotherapy, training and assessment. The platform is neutral to the type of therapeutic methodology used, leaving that to be determined by the practitioner, and serves as an aid to help access the experiential potential that exists in current forms of evidence-based therapy. The term mixed reality comes from research into display technology, further added to by work on how we perceive media. If we're taking an experiential approach and introducing scaffolding to help with that, then there are three main ways to achieve that, physically, virtually, and imaginally. In physical or in vivo experiential work, the therapy or training takes place in real-world settings with other participants where required. The advantages to this approach center on its ecological validity. However, disadvantages include costliness, difficulties in staging certain scenarios, and a lack of control over the learning environment. Another approach is imaginal work. This involves reflecting back on previous experiences visualizing future ones, and working through scenarios using mental imagery. Imaginal work is low cost and agile. However, it relies on the capacity of participants to be able to adequately imagine the scene. And in some cases, extra work may be needed to generalize imaginal learning into real world scenarios. The third experiential category is the virtual. The virtual exists somewhere between the physical and the imaginal. It lacks the full affordances of a physical environment, however has some limited affordances to help scaffold the experience. Virtual systems in high or low tech ways can make use of multi-sensory cues to support the therapeutic process. While research often seeks to separate these physical, virtual, and imaginal categories, which is useful in order to better understand and compare them, in therapeutic practice it often makes sense to make use of all of the above. Blending the physical, virtual, and imaginal in different degrees as needed can serve to create more engaging and effective therapeutic and training environments.